Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome back to my channel. So in this channel, we solve a lot of algorithms and go over leak code questions. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, smash that like button because that helps me create this content for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at today's problem. Counting bits and what we're given here is a number n and what we need to do is return how many ones are found in each number up to this number so that's what this number means i know the question can look confusing so what i've done here is i have drawn out um, each of the representations of this number so it goes from 0 to 8 and what we need to return here is the number of ones that are represented in each of these numbers up to 8 so if I were to solve this manually, um, first we would put a zero in the first position because there is no one here. And then in the next position, we have one, one, and then we have another one in the next position. And then in three's case, we have two ones. So this is when we need to put a two. Um, and then for four, we have one, one. And then for five, we have two ones. And then for six, we have two ones again. And then for seven, we have three ones. And for eight, we have one one. So I hope you understand the question and what we need to return. Okay, now there's an observation that we need to make. And don't worry if you didn't really notice this because you wouldn't know this unless you did this type of problem before. But what happens is each time there's an even number, if you divide it by half, um, so let's say we have a 4, and then 4 divided by 2 is um, equal to 2. So when you look at the position of the 2, there is only um, 1, 1. So this value and this value is actually equal. So the number and its half... So in this case, the number was 4 and its half is 2 here. Uh, we'll have the equal number of 1s when it is represented in binary. And then the second case is when the number is odd. So you notice here that with all the odd numbers, this last bit is always 1. And that's because 2 to the power 0 is 1. So every um, odd number will always have this extra one so if we derive that okay for the even numbers um, the number of ones in the binary representation is exactly half all we need to do for the odd numbers is just add a one to that so these are the two cases so if it's even we take the um, number over the half and we put whatever number of ones is in that position. So that is our answer. And then if it is odd, then what we do is we do the same thing. We do n over 2, but then we add this 1 because you can see that for all the odd numbers, this last bit is always equal to 1. So that is the idea to solve this problem. And what we're going to do is create a... Um, empty list filled with zeros and we're just going to populate um, the numbers in as we go through them. Um, so I'm back in the code and what I'm going to do first is create a answer list where we're going to return the answer and this is going to be um, the number of positions we have plus one because we are starting at one. And what we're going to do now is iterate through this list. So for i in range, and we're going to go from um, 1 to n because we um, already know that for 0, we have put the answer as 0. So we do not need to iterate this. Okay, and what we're going to do is get the position. So for each of the elements, we're going to use the index as the position. So for example, if we are um, at 
uh, two, we want to um, get half of this. So two divided by two is one, and we are going to get the value of one. So, and then similarly, if you look at this case one, the first thing it will do is um, look, try to half it, and we're going to take the ceiling of that. So one, or we're going to take the floor value of that. So one divided by two is 0.5, so it's going to give us a zero um, if we take the um, floor function. And then odd is n divided by two plus one. So we're going to add a one to that, and that's how we're getting this one. So I have, uh, I hope that is clear how we're getting this position. So we'll do math dot floor here and pass on um, the index we're at and divide by two. So this is how we're getting each of the positions. After we have um, our position, we want to check if um, the index we're on is odd or even. So we'll say if i mod 2 is equal to 1, that means this is odd. So if i mod 2 equals to 1, then what we need to do is in our answer list, so at that index, what we're going to do is get um, that position that is before, the half position of it. So this is what we were talking about. So if we're at four, we want to get the position of, um, so let's say we're at five, and what we want to do is we want to get the position um, two here right, because uh, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5, so we just want the 2, and then we want to add a um, plus 1 to that. So we're going to take this value here, 1, and then we are going to add 1 to it to get this 2. So this is what we're doing in the odd case. So here, okay, so let me go back here. So we will say... So at that index, we want to put um, the answer of that previous position. Maybe I should call this half position, so it's a little bit more clear. So we can call it half position. Yeah, okay. So we're going to take that and put that half position value here, and then plus one. Okay, else... It, that else means it's even and here all we need to do is just say the answer at that index is going to be equal to the answer at that half position because we notice that um, the even numbers have the same number of ones um, when they are halved and the last thing that's left to do is return answer okay so let me run this Okay, why did we get a wrong answer? Um, yeah, so I realized the last um, number was not set and I forgot to add a one here. So if I run this, this should work. Okay, yeah, awesome. So now it's returning correctly and then submit. Yay, success.